The last episode did not work out the way we'd wanted it to, but we have to make the most of the situation and I need to rebuild. The first thing I'm gonna do is re-get back all of the gear that I lost. When you lose a life on a hard cry man, you keep the three items that you protect and everything else is gone. For me, that meant I had to do a whole bunch of mining and smithing. After some time in the mines, I'd managed to remake my Bayonite plus four weapons. Now that I've got that done, the only thing I could do was go and clear my Slayer task by doing regular Black Dragons. Every single time I log in, I'm reminded that I don't have any extra lives left. Every single time, it says that I'm on my last legs and it's extremely stressful. I can purchase a total of one more extra life on this account and that's it. This extra life costs 10 million coins and for the foreseeable future, we're gonna have to be going without it. Although I will plan to make the money at some point, that's a lot of money for an Iron Man of my level. I'm treating it like a bit of a test. If I'm to complete the ultimate goal on this account, which is every single unique item from Telos, I'm gonna be completely fine not having an extra life right away. I'm not gonna spend the next two weeks pickpocketing or thieving or doing anything like that. We're just gonna keep progressing on the account. If I lose my heart status, will I continue with the account? Probably not is the current plan, but we'll see. The, the hardcore aspect of it is, is what I find to be a lot of fun. So it's all been so fun up to this point. I think if I'm no longer a hardcore, it may not be as fun. That's level 83 smithing coming in. Don't think it unlocks anything. Faster heating, not a big deal. Just gotta keep it going. I'm just, I'm just remaking my gear right now. So kind of a necessary step. I still, it's been like eight hours. I'm still kicking myself. I still can't believe it, but you know what? That's, uh, it happens, I suppose. So I've remade my armor. I've still got a helmet and a plate body in the bank. I've still got the shield. Boots and gloves are gonna go with rock shell for now. And most importantly, I've got my weapons back. So we're good on that front. That's level 76 farming coming in. Yeah, not a not a super useful level, but you know, it counts. I'm just right now setting up my uh, setting up my pen so that I'm only breeding uh, carnivorous or red chompas. They're the most useful ones, so I'd rather just collect those skill chompas. Don't help me all that much, so as soon as I've got four Elder uh, Red Chins, yeah, we're gonna be in business. <laughs> I'm still fishing in Metaphos, getting rid of a lot of those skill choppas I got from Player on Farms. Herb runs are super important on an Iron Man account. If you start doing them quickly enough, by the time you're at a higher blue level, you'll have enough potions to be pretty well set for life. So I want to get started on these as soon as I possibly can and begin to amass an epic herb tab. It's just not something I want to have to worry about later on on the account. Now, at the end of the last video, I talked about doing things the right way. And as far as I can tell on this account with the stats I currently have, the best way to do that is going to be to start questing. So we're going to get right to it now. I've picked a relatively random set of quests that all have pretty useful, interesting unlocks, and we're going to try and get them all done. I love how we had to do this quest in order to do one small favor. That's, that's a big feels bad man right there. Root mystery's done, on to one small favor. Use that, 250 magic XP. He's absolutely insane, unstoppable. Best part about this quest is the fact that once you do it, well, you've done it for good. Don't ever have to do it again. Despite its reputation as one of the worst quests in the entire game, one small favor is extremely useful on an Iron Man. It allows you to make Guthix Rests, which heal 500 life points per sip and do not drain your stats the way a Cerdom and Brew would. Until you've got overloads that reboost your stats, these things are about as good as it gets for healing. All right, we're, we're racing against the clock here. Are we gonna get one small favor done under 40 minutes? Also, worth noting, I believe the speed record for this quest is like in the 20 minute range, which is very impressive. Then again, Bladed Dive and Mobile Perk and good teleports and good planning and good IQ would all definitely be a factor. It took us 40 minutes, but quest complete. I know, dude, it took a while, all right? That's actually a very big quest, to be totally honest. We got a key ring, Guthix Rest, Felda Pills, Gnome Glider, Admin Aura, Ruby, Diamond, some Smithing XP. I'll take it. Best 22 minutes of my life. Go Soy Done. Two quest points. Most importantly, the Ectophile. This is that, and then the bottom piece needs to get pulled out again. So we need to put that all over there. We do that, we do that. We do that, 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 that. And then this should be puzzle complete. Let's go! Whoo, he's insane! <laughs> Go! Oh god. Back up, 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 up! Bro! 
Oh my god, he's so weak! Which really means I should have done this quest a long time ago. There we go! Monkey Madness quest complete. We're now at 100 quest points. 10k GP, 3 diamonds. Most important thing there is access to Apatola and its agility course. Absolutely unreal. And uh, it's time to head upstairs and I'm gonna get my training XP as well, which is very, very hefty. It should be like over 100,000 experience. There we go. We got ourselves a strength level from that as well. We have level 71 strength. 13 minute quest. That's what we like to see there. So now we can do Shadow of the Storm and then we can free Evil Dave and get ourselves spicy stews, which are gonna be quite helpful for pretty much the rest of this account. I have a feeling we're gonna use them pretty much all the time. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Shadow of the Storm complete. It's only a 15 minute quest. Brilliant, and we're level 46 ranging. Guess it's time to start Recipe for Disaster and Free Evil Dave. I'm pretty sure this quest takes about, uh, about eight seconds. Go, start Recipe for Disaster. What do I have to do? There we go, Fruit Blast. Put the ashes in the Fruit Blast. Done. That was uh, a very long quest. About uh, about 43 seconds to get that one done. Easy game. I mean, I deserve this. I really do deserve this, but, but that doesn't make it hurt any less, you know? Like, it really doesn't make it hurt any less. <laughs>
I buy like all the terrible ones. Like scroll, of, I just spent it all on the scroll of Damonheim. First off, scroll of cleansing, done. Scroll of life, done. Read both these bad boys. Very, very critical. I just realized something pretty cool. If I do a tiny bit of smithing, I'll be able to use a spicy stew to boost all the way to level 90, and then I'll be able to make my very own set of Elder Rune weapons. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to factor into things, but in the next video, there's going to be a whole lot more combat. Anyways, that is all I've got for you for this video. I wanted to apologize for the lack of progress made in this episode. Unfortunately, I've been stuck in meetings all week with RuneFest right around the corner, I'm speaking with Twitch, I'm speaking with YouTube, and it's just been absolutely crazy. That being said, I'm glad I could get the episode out and I really hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys on Thursday for a brand new video.